today we're going to the Cu Chi tunnels in Vietnam, about 25 miles northwest of Saigon. And these tunnels are absolutely fascinating because actually underneath all of Vietnam, there's a network of tunnels that are all combined that were originally made for the war. These are not the only tunnels. These are just tunnels that connect to a bigger network of tunnels that span all the way to Cambodia. So underneath the country of Vietnam, there is essentially another world. And during the war, Viet Cong soldiers would use this as means of food. They would also like communicate to each other via these tunnels. And they were also served as like hospitals, believe it or not. Là mình dùng tiêu và ớt xay nhuyễn ra rắc xung quanh lỗ thông hơi à, Thì con chó nó lại nó hởi mùi cay, à, nó bỏ đi Today we are going to a village outside of Ho Chi Minh City and when I really want to travel, not vacation, when I travel, I want to get outside the tourist traps. When I travel, I want to see what the locals eat. I want to see their customs. I want to see what they do. You know, I want to compare their world to my world. That's what I want to do. And being out here hopefully will enlighten me on how Vietnam, the locals in Vietnam do things. Because I want to ultimately compare their world to my world. And I'm really excited about today. This snake is a beautiful animal. Like it is so beautiful and I'm in Vietnam and I'm just feeling really out in the open, you know. Don't, don't bite me. Just buy Corona. <laughs> but ultimately, it's beautiful in the cage. You know, I don't want this thing coming up and playing with oh, me. Oh hell no. <laughs> oh hell no. <laughs> We don't have like a, a Kaiser Permanente like down the street in case I get bit. We're in we're in fucking Vietnam here, and I don't want to get bit by this snake, you know. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams did I think that they were gonna take this snake out of its goddamn cage. Like there ain't no way that I'm gonna fuck around and play with this snake. Uh uh. The same thing about the snakes goes with the bees as well. You know, like, I'm not a big fan of bees either. You know, I like honey and all, but I don't want to get close to a bee. I don't want to get stung. Khi mà con ong nó đóng đầy cái khung này, đầy cái khung này, và khi mà mặt đã đầy rồi á, thì nó sẽ tự bít những cái lỗ này lại, đóng kín những cái lỗ này lại. Thì người ta sẽ tiến hành thu hoạch mặt. But he's teaching me the process of how honey is made, and I gotta admit, like, learning on the road, learning up close, um, and personal is a lot different than learning like in a book, you know, so I'm taking full advantage of this experience. After one or two months, they take honey one time. Yeah. And you know around here there are many fruit gardens. Yeah. There are, there are flowers on year. So over here very easy to take honey.
This fish is not exactly my type of meal. You know, maybe a lot of people who like seafood, they like fresh caught fish right in your face. Not me. Like this fish to me looks like it has cancer. It's like straight up like it's dying or something. You can have this, you know what I'm saying? But having said all that, I'm gonna be open-minded. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Is it gonna be easy? Probably not. I'm gonna be a little hesitant too, to be completely honest. But I'm gonna give it a go. Um, fish is not my favorite food by any means. But when you see the eyeballs of the actual fish served in front of you, it makes it even more difficult. So, I'm gonna see if I can adapt. Part of this journey for me is is a growing experience for me. You know, I want to improve myself. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect person um, in, in any way. And one of the things I want to work on is being more present in in situations. A lot of times, like I'm on my phone or I'm worrying. I'm thinking about the past. Or I'm thinking about the future. When really, I want to be more present because, after all, this is my life. In this moment, I am in pure bliss. The weather is perfect. Like, we are just paddling away. Just keep me in this moment forever. I, I love traveling and finding new spots, and, and, and for once, this was a, a spot that just like shocked me. I mean, it, the people were so calm, so friendly, so relaxed. They, they don't have to worry about cars, they don't have to worry about clothes or anything like that. It's just, it's ref it was refreshing actually. I've never seen. Yeah, the islands. Yeah, I've never seen, yeah, I've never seen the islands. It was yeah. so different, you know, yeah. like Ho Chi Minh City is different, you know, Hong Kong's different. That, the yeah. island, the villages is, is peace, peaceful, yeah. you know, so. I just want to say thank you for being very nice and very perfect.